Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise, and this reading is for Tuesday, February 16th, 2021. And as usual, I'm using the Light Seers Tarot. Okay, so for the theme, we have the Two of Swords. Oops, all reversals, but that's okay. Um, so, Two of Swords reversed for the theme. And flanked by the star reversed, injustice reversed. Okay, so this brings in the element of trying to understand what you really believe. Trying to get inside of our thought processes where uh, we might be a little confused uh, with the two of swords uh, reversed. I mean, in the traditional... Hold on, let me grab the, the deck... Yeah, cops, here we go. You can see this card brings up the issue of being at a crossroads, right? We were trying to make a decision. But when it's reversed, uh, the issue there brings in the element of confusion because you can't yet decide. You're, you're weighing your options. You're trying to figure out uh, what's the best way to go. Uh, it's... It's not, you know, really an indecision. It's not really anything about blocked feelings. Um, it can be about facing our fears. Um, it can be sometimes it's that place where you feel like there's a double bind where there's no good option sometimes. I, and I'm speaking only to the Two of Swords reverse right now. I'll bring in these two in a moment. Um, it's also often about a lie being exposed. So on a spiritual level, we all, at least I believe, now you don't have to jump on my bandwagon, but I believe that we all come in with false beliefs, which are to me like little lies in our soul, in our, in our soul substance, where something awful happened in the past, or a lot of little awful things happened, and we think that that's just the way life is, and that's just the way life has to be, or this is just the way I am, and I have to do this in order to get that. So it's very, you know, it's steeped in duality. It's just a very dualistic way of, of moving through life. Um, and it, it can be, you know, really challenging. Um, but on another level, the lies exposed here you know you're you're figuring out oh this is why that you know whatever the false belief is uh this is why i feel hopeless in, in a love relationship maybe or in life or in work whatever it is i um, and and you can go to like if you have your astrology chart if you have your natal birth map one of the clues to find, to look at your deepest wounding and to look at your, your you know, like soul split, you know, um, uh, material beliefs, <laughs> you know, organization basically, is to look at Chiron in your, in your chart. Um, and if you've never had your chart done, I, that's one of my other things that I absolutely love doing because you can see, you can see the birth map, you know. You can see, and the star card always reminds me of astrology because it's, you know, it's basically <laughs> we are stardust. We are each, you know, we're we're stardust, and we need to have faith in ourselves and believe in ourselves. But when it comes in reversed, um, there's you know there's an issue with that. But I love having the two of swords here reversed because that shows that. That, that you're tracking, you know, you're tracking whatever the, the lie is, the false belief. Um, if this doesn't have anything to do with a spiritual message for you today, you know, on a mundane level, this can be releasing something. This can be, um, you know, moving into a decision, actually, which is good. But this can also be where you notice somebody else who's lying. And who hasn't been loyal to you. So therefore you no longer, you know, have have any hope in in the, you know, in nurturing that relationship or moving forward with them. I uh, and sometimes this, you know, if it's a person, 
on a mundane level, they would be very, very stubborn and, you know, just pessimistic, like, uh, you know, and they can't see the big picture, you know. Um, it, it would be that, that you know, now this is just the way things are kind of thing, you know. Like you've probably heard, you know, a parent or a grandparent say, or an uncle or an aunt or somebody that's older when you're growing up, so, oh, it's just the way things are. <laughs> and uh, as an adult, we go, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Uh, I know better than that because I've taken self-responsibility for my life and I know that I can create my own reality no matter what happened to me in the past. I can turn it all around. And so so you see the lie. And then from that place, you can like rewrite the injustice. Um, because when the justice card comes in reversed, it definitely... It's, you know, there is it, what it, it apparently seems like an injustice, but it's also... It could be... Somebody is very pessimistic and corrupt if this is someone, you know, in your life. Um, this could be somebody who's very deceptive, just on the mundane levels. You know, I'm not speaking spiritually here, but, but you know, everything connects to spirit. But deceptive, you know, fraudulent, somebody with really bad karma, uh, somebody maybe even with legal issues. So you would want to, you definitely would want to release yourself from anyone like that. And I um, now spiritually, spiritually, this is the place where you realize that it's all about balancing out your soul substance. And the only way you can do that is to get in touch with, you know, what what is what is my karma? What did I bring in? You know, what what did I What's my karma for this lifetime? What what do I need to heal? And um, you can you can ask that question in meditation. You can't force the answer to come, but you can just be open and willing, and definitely, definitely, do not go in, into any self judgment. Because if there's a place where you're going to judge yourself harshly for anything you did in the past, the message won't come through. Uh, not usually. I mean, I'm would say, you know, never say never, but not, not usually. You need to have an open, relaxed, you know, willingness to just look for the truth. Always the, the answer to anything is to always want the truth. Go for the truth, no matter what. And there's nothing that we need to resist because we're all just human beings moving through, you know, this earthly plane in order to heal, in order to retrieve soul substance that has gone um, you know, into um, into a false belief, uh, and and maybe got a little frozen in time, and we're needing to access those feelings and numbness and thought all out. You know, which we do when we cry, which we do when we grieve. So, to bring in, well, on, and on another level, before I go forward, I. Uh, you can bring in that information about your um, about your karma through you know an astrology reading focusing on your north and south nodes and your um, Chiron and then just all, you know all the aspects to your Sun and Saturn. I mean I look at everything actually, but I just kind of go around the chart like looking, and there's never any 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 judgment at all. But um, but astrology is a great way to go. Dream time. I mean, I I remember in 2000, I went to sleep one night, you know, wanting to, I, set, I really set the intention, I, I just want to know what my karma is for this lifetime. And I had this full-on dream. And of course, I wrote it all down, but I didn't need to. And I still remember every detail. And it was, you know, it was just, it was perfect. It was so multi-layered and leveled and so anyway, the reason I'm saying that to you is that if you want the answer, you can get it. You you can get it. And uh, you know, astrology will confirm it. Um, and all of the way you have organized your life will confirm it. You know, and you can see little places where where you could you could open more. You know, and you could change. You can really change everything, and and take a a piece of soul substance that was, you know, not in balance and only went one way. You know, those places where, where, where it's like all or nothing, right? I mean, those all or nothing places is definitely what the injust or what the justice card is reversed. 
So in, in your natal chart, you would look to Jupiter to find that and aspects to Jupiter. So Jupiter might be the all and Saturn might be the nothing. You know, you can look at that relationship between the two planets. And so basically, though, If you, if you do that, if you get inside of the, the, the lack of balance in your soul substance and the um, places where you've been deceived, maybe even where you know, we've been deceiving ourselves, um, then we, we turn this around and it turns into truth. It turns into absolute truth and clarity. And that is our life lesson. And that is our karma. That's the only reason we come in every lifetime is to turn around false beliefs. I mean, that's it. That's, it's, that's, our, that's our incarnational task. That's our soul task. And then as we do that, then we give uh, our service in a completely new way. And we have a lot more compassion for our brothers and sisters. So, so to expose... The karma is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And, and then we don't need to be pessimistic. There's no reason to feel hopeless. There's no reason to reject ourselves or to be in any type of, um, you know, depression. Because sometimes the star reverse brings in, you know, depression. And sometimes it even brings in illness. And I don't know about you guys, but any time I've ever gotten ill... It's it's been a, a gateway for me to go deeper and 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 heal something much much deeper. You know, if you do the work right and you don't numb out about it and don't just try to squash it all down and just you know get over it. And the only way over anything is through it. So illness can be a great uh, gateway to find out illness or any injury actually can be a gateway to to figure out like what. Um, you know, what, what was my false belief about myself in life and, and how life can either, um, you know, support or negate, depending on your beliefs. But we have to remember, first of all, we have to remember that the universe is there to support us. The universe has our back, as Gabriel Bernstein says in her book, in her she has a wonderful deck, but the darn thing doesn't shuffle right, and I just, um, I, I sent it back. It's, it was gorgeous, but I, I don't have the patience anymore to go through using fanning powder, and, you know, um, <laughs> I just, I'm not doing that anymore, so I, I, I sent it back, but, but I love the, the beauty of it. If you want the, the deck just for yourself to get the, the words off of it, but uh, to, to use it, like, in readings for me, it just didn't work. I'm... Um, but anyway, the universe has your back. That is for sure. And the universe is inside of us, alive and well, in the nucleus of every cell in our bodies. So remember that when you're trying to create something new. And remember that when you get caught in this little tiny place that says, oh, I'm this or that. It's not the real you. In, in anything that you've ever had to go through, I... Uh, that's uh, that, that brings you back to anything less than the beauty of who you are... Uh, it, it's just it's just an experience to help you get inside the truth. So okay, so let's um, let me use. I had a request or kind of a request, but uh, more of a question of why don't you ever use the animal spirit <laughs> uh, oracle anymore? So let me let me use it. Let's see what what we can get from this deck for the day. And I think I'll go ahead and do three cards. Oh, yeah. Well, now that the, these cards go together. Yeah, okay. I can see how these go together with... Um, and this is another deck that I absolutely love, but I had to use fanning powder and to make it slide because they just stick together and they're really stiff. So I, I really wish these deck creators would get their... get things together because... I For people that fan decks out... I, um, you know, if, if you're gonna just, if you're if you're gonna try to sh if you're gonna try to shuffle like this, you can, but you couldn't with this deck. It's really hard to, you know, I mean, it's too big. It's huge. It's, I mean, I have pretty good sized hands, and it's huge. So, 
when they create these decks that don't fan, it makes it even harder to, I mean, you, uh, how are you going to shuffle them? You can't, you can't riffle this type of a deck because it's too, I don't know, maybe, yeah, I guess you could. Okay, I won't do it because it'll make a lot of noise. I guess you could, but if, you, if you're petite, like I'm not, you're not even going to be able to do that. So um, the only other way you could do it is just like, I guess, cut it and then flip a card over, I suppose. Or, like I did, spend hours, use fanning powder and wiping it all off and making a mess. And then you've got uh, laundry to do that's not fun. <laughs> okay, so back to the cards instead of technicalities here. The bear, brown bear spirit says to take time out. Well, that definitely goes with um, the two of swords reversed and... And if there is an illness that's, that you're working through with the star card reversed, I, well, no matter what it is, whenever we're moving through something, it helps to take time out. Because if we keep stuffing issues down, I, it's, they're just going to come out sideways in some other area of our lives that's going to cause problems. So we don't need to do that. That's completely unnecessary. And then... Ant spirit says it's time to collaborate. So to me, that means reaching out to those who can help and, um, you know, coming from a place that's refreshed, you know, after you've taken the time out, maybe the collaboration sometimes is just asking for help when you need to take time out. And this card can be delegating or just asking you to help. Hey, man, I need some days off. How do I get some days off? All right. And then... Tending to the small things. So that's that's the message. Taking the time out, asking for help, even though this card is about collaboration, you know, I'm, I think it's saying, because ants, they work. They're, they're the workers, you know. They're like ants and bees, they work, 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 work. So I think the, the message is to take some time out from work and deal with all the small things in our lives that um, can help organize reality in a whole new way so that life goes easier and more smoothly like have that have that vision on um, have your vision set on being uh, having your life in order having all the details tended to because if you don't they drive you nuts you know it, it's like if you're if you're overwhelmed to the place where you can't tend to all the small little things every day that need to be taken care of uh, you, then you're going to need to take a lot of time out in order to rewrite like this in um, imbalance. So I think this card brings in the, um, the let's see, if, do I have it still close by? The justice card. Remember the justice that was reversed? Yeah. So if we look at, if you imagine, you know, every little thing that goes into each, you know, bowl here, can change the balance of a scale. So, so you want to, you know, have things very, very balanced, which doesn't mean that, um, you know, you do nothing for a week and you stay in your cave, and and then, um, and and then, you've got a mess and you've got to take care of all the details that you let go here. It's that balance of having your everyday life in order. That, that brings in the balance, you know, that brings in the ability to, to work and collaborate. But then again, every once in a while we need a complete, or maybe once a week, you know, at least. I don't know. I, I tend to work every day, but I don't work long hours at all. Um, but every once in a while I need a, just an entire day off. A complete day off and I think that that's really healing when that you know when that happens so okay that's all I have for this Tuesday February 16th <laughs> okay uh, oh, oh and I wanted to thank James for reminding me to use this deck it was James James Jones so thank you James okay you guys take good care love you all bye